How often do dudes come in there like asking for like sex and whatnot? Every day. Really? Every day. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. Every day. That makes sense. Even if they see you every day. Every breathing day. They think they think <laughs> they, 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 they even if they see you. They still so ask. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, 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 I kid you guys not. This every, Thursday's gonna be the day. I, every fucking day. What do you think? Is, is you it, gonna break one day? It's, yeah, it's gonna, You're gonna change. Crack. You're gonna crack. I'm gonna get you. So I'm gonna ask it's you a the million same times. People. Can I fuck? Can I fuck? Can nah, I fuck? Can I fuck you? Can I fuck? Can yeah. I fuck? It's to the point right, you do. Can I fuck? Can I fuck? That's crazy. Can I fuck? Can I fuck? Yeah, they pull up. They're yeah, like, yeah. it's opposite day. Do you want to fuck? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, gosh. <laughs> opposite day just ended. <laughs> What's going on, ladies no and gentlemen? We are back. It is another episode of R.E.O.P. at Night. Yep. Finally return. I ain't even tell them we press record, but we here. <laughs> Episode commence. It's your boy, Mr. Motherfucking Jefferson. It's your boy, Ampa Valley. We got two beautiful oh, ladies hold on, hold on. here. My new name, Big Business. <laughs> big Business. Big Business with a D. Big, uh, big Business. Big Business with okay. a D. Y'all hear it? Yeah, I can't. I can't finish that saying. You know, what I'm saying? <laughs> that's crazy. But oh no, you can't say big business with a D. Nah, that's 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 crazy. Come on, man. What's big, going on? Man? I mean, I feel like that would be an insane way to introduce you. <laughs> What's going on? This is my nigga, big business with a D. That's no, all fine. Just gotta say it. Just gotta say it. Or with the D, big business. You gotta say it like big business. Yeah, leave it at that. You know, big swaggy, business. Swaggy. And then you be like with it. You know, with right? a D. Okay, I got you. <laughs> Oh, we let the ladies. Do we gotta it. do it again? <laughs> no, no, it's perfect. Nah. It's perfect. It's perfect. <laughs> we, don't, we, don't, we, don't, we don't start shit over or take out. You know what I'm saying? We just roll with the flow. So, ladies, go ahead and introduce yourselves. To my left, Henny. And to my right, Devin. Y'all want to give y'all Instagrams anything like that? Oh, yeah. I mean, y'all could be y'all could be a uh, uh, mystique. No, no, no. Okay, so <laughs> you know, my Twitter is Hennessy Uncle. Um, and my Instagram is zero suit honey, and I just be you know, chilling, being myself. Hold on, why you got the why you got the uncle on there? Okay, oh, yeah. so I mean you got to explain both names. Mm. Zero suit, that's you know what I'm saying. But okay, Hennessy uncle is really funny. I used to be really nerdy when I was younger, so we had a Discord, and like I made a joke about how like I would be the drunk uncle at the barbecue. But, like, <laughs> yes. I don't know the context of why I said that. But I was like, I'm gonna be the drunk uncle at the barbecue with the sandals and the collar shirt. And I was like, I'm gonna be the Henny Uncle, and I just changed my name to that. And then like, I don't know. Henny Uncle, that's funny. Hennessy Uncle, yeah. and I don't even like Hennessy. I really am a tequila girl. Really? Yeah. I ain't fuck with Hennessy. It's very overrated. But Ooh. then when we started throwing parties up at the safe house, mm. Mm. I was knocking down bottles of Hennessy. Nah, Hennessy disgusting. That shit nah, my once we start over. drinking, I ain't never had a hangover. I ain't never felt sick. I ain't never felt no kind of way off Hennessy. That shit make me feel like Superman. <laughs> Son, I'm at Hennessy. Son, I'm you, need to go, you need when to go I, next door. When I drink that Hennessy, I hit one of these. You know what I'm saying? That Cam Newton. You I'm know what I mean? I'm about to go outside telling hey, y'all got a, y'all got a new by. member. <laughs> hey, That's why you don't need to be drinking that Hennessy. Because I was just about to say, that shit in my stomach. Henny make you do things. I mean, you're not supposed Hennessy to really be doing at the time. I and love it, Hennessy. You know, I can't fuck with it. Like, well, I, I don't, don't drink nothing, but the only thing I don't drink, won't drink, is vodka. I don't fuck with vodka. Fuck I feel vodka. like that's the most basic like alcohol. Yeah, one hundred percent for start. That's like your Whoa. eighteen year old. Um, <laughs> hey, we you introducing, right. and then mm-hmm. what's, as what, an what's adult, vodka like Everclear and all that shit. Yeah, oh my god, a lot that of shit. like like the wine. If it ain't, wine, if, it ain't if it ain't shit. tequila, if it's white, is is vodka for the most part. You know okay. what I'm saying? So um, for me, gin. yeah, yeah, gin uh, and gin ass. Gin ass. It's disgusting. I don't fuck with gin. Gin gin tastes like a fart in a cup. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm gonna just stay over here. Yeah, please. Cause I don't <laughs> don't chime in saying gin good. That shit oh, is disgusting. Gin? The seagrams? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. With that seagram? Out the bottle, out the bottle, no chaser. <laughs> fucked up, <laughs> fucked up for the night. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Ooh, yeah, you what? fucked up off that seagrams. <laughs> <laughs> but having a good night though, not like Oh, my tummy hurt. Like the, the I promise you, <coughs> Henny go to my ass. That's crazy. That shit go to my, it don't go to my stomach. It goes to my ass. It Remy goes twerk. to my ass. It makes you shake it. Down you said, what here in your gut. Remy? Okay. That brown. Yo, you like bro. that top. You like that top. That top dollar get, all right. Top dollar make a water holler. <laughs> <laughs> all 
<laughs> All right, so ladies, go ahead and tell the uh, the listeners, you know, uh, what you do. I mean, y'all y'all here in the city and whatnot, but travel. So I'm an adult entertainer, aka mm. a stripper mm. for the shmoney. <laughs> the money for the pussy. Ain't nothing the funny, the the <laughs> Without the, the money, the y'all. <laughs> I gotta quote my dog Jay go crazy for that one. <laughs> <laughs> but um, Henny. Oh yes. Both strippers. A dancer, a stripper. Yes. All right. Mm-hmm. How long y'all been dancing? I've been dancing for about three years now. I say it's been like a year, maybe almost a year and a half. Maybe no, I say probably less than that. All right. So I'm gonna start with mm-hmm. you. What got you into? Stripping. Why she answer? You be thinking about you know. (laughs) Literally the money. Okay. Okay. Literally the money. And I think like I'm not gonna lie. Like there was a time where like you were seeing a lot more um, content for stripping. Like girls just being like, okay, here's what I made a night. That's all over TikTok. You know, TikTok's supposed to be like a children's app. So it it? wasn't. It wasn't. It was originally for younger the younger people originally. Yeah. But um. Yeah, you would see a lot of that all over TikTok, all over Instagram, where people are just doing a money count, or here's what a, light, a night looks like for me. And it was just like, oh, okay, like it would be cool to watch. I won't say that that necessarily influenced me, but even just seeing like the art of dancing and people on the pole, and like there's a specific person, like she has that orange hair and she's real thick. And everybody has probably seen her at least once. And she just is so graceful. And I don't think people really understand, like, how much strength it takes to do that. And even just Devin, like, she is very graceful. Like, the amount of talent that it takes to do that is just really amazing. So I really think that is what really, like, the money. Oh, y'all was making that? Y'all making that? Mm, okay. <laughs> so that was really what it was worth for me, personally. Yeah, I was following that a lot on TikTok. What do they call it? Uh, three or four talk, talk or something like that? I think I, I think I oh, have seen that. Oh, actually, that's not that's stripping. Mm-hmm. That's just mm-hmm. selling ass. I don't know. No, yeah, no I've seen too, that. Yeah, yeah. It'd be yeah, interesting. Yeah. I'd be like, oh. Hey, they be busting down them uh, quick visions and shit. They be getting some bread. Hey. They be on that road. Hey. I'm in a whole discord for, it's it's for like all types of, so sex workers under right. the umbrella of that. So strippers is in there, like girls with pimps are in there, mm-hmm. like girls without the pimps are in there, like, and they just be talking, <laughs> like just talking. I'm just like. Would they be giving like advice or shit? Advice, talking about their day, like that shit talking about crazy. how they advertise. It'd be drama. You ever it's seen like a girl, like is it like the bad side of it too? Like a girl, like how to deal with a, your pimp if he snatch you up because you didn't give him all That's his money. Funny. It'd be some crazy shit. Like in there where they'd be like, I'm finna tell y'all. It'd be like, just not for me to say too much, but like it'd be some drama in there where it's like, she'd be like, oh, I'm finna tell your pimp on you. I'd be like, oh my God, oh, wait, whoa. Snitching? Well, your, your son is, uh, oh, whoa. Why are we That's talking about kids? crazy. Well, and just like crazy. advocating for us too, like you know, and it's also just very like positive. trafficking, That's like dope. you know, just yeah, anything, yeah. honestly, yeah. like mm-hmm. people with kids, just yeah. helping each other out, really. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I hope it's like an area where like do they put like dudes on blast, but like they don't fuck with this guy, just like a section like that. Yes, Damn. they have that too. I respect mm-hmm. it. It's a whole thing of just different layers or just like, here's some like guides of how to make money like this. If you want to be a cam girl or here's how to make um, logos for yourself. Like it's literally so much shit in there. <laughs> they have a picture of a nigga. They'll be like, he the biggest trick. <laughs> like anybody, get, can anybody get money from yeah, this nigga? Yeah, that's the point. <laughs> just send him two, Mr. Mr. Just, C. Just uh-huh. send him two feet pictures and he down. That's, that's, that's what's up. Shout out to the Discord, man. Yeah, for sure. Devin, what got you into it? I was just really, honestly, down on my ass. I hear that. 19 in Daytona, struggling. Hey, trust. If it was a a way niggas could be out here, like, I'd be throwing that dick around. (laughs) If I, a room full of women that just want to see me dance, (laughs) uh, what? Watch my dance, y'all. I'd be Brian Pumper. You know what I'm saying? Oh, with the egg. <laughs> what? With There's male strip clubs and strippers. Yeah, but they, they be cheesy. I ain't into that. You, know what with the, you don't like the organized dance where they got a yeah, choreograph? Yeah, no, 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 I ain't doing all of that shit. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm ask. bad on that dance floor. Like, I, we used to call our shit cut a rug for a reason. You know what I'm saying? That's because a nigga cut a motherfucking rug. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I'm cold on that dance floor. If I like I say, if they gave me a room, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I advertise that shit on Craigslist. <laughs> I'm gonna be like male stripper room, ladies only. 
25 and up You know what I'm saying And I'm gonna go slang that dick What's gonna be like your Your move Like your one move That you really gonna get him with it I'm gonna throw that motherfucker It's <laughs> gonna <laughs> It's gonna appear in they. It's gonna be like, you know what I mean? Like, what's going on? They like? gonna be like, hey, you know it's gonna be nothing but old ladies in there. No, you think I give a damn? Oh, I'm just, I'm just they giving you a fair. I'm giving you a fair warning. I'm just saying it might be some niggas. Bachelor it might be some niggas. No, 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 no. Women only. You gotta, no, you gotta, no, 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 no. You gotta put that in the niggas parameters. Said no, 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 no. It's gonna you be gotta, niggas. You in gotta there, put that in the parameters. You know what I'm saying? Come on, bro. You're not. You're not hey, really. I want to be game. comfortable. I right, want to be comfortable. Bro, you know bro, what I'm saying? What's going on? Bro? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, bro. You just. I'm just saying. You just saying stuff. It got. Bro, I don't take communal showers. You gotta like be. You gotta get all demographic. You gotta get the money. Where are we going? Yeah, I'm just. I'm just giving him like the fair warning. He going. He kind of going green in the game. I'm letting him know that hey, it's gonna be all kind of shit. I'm with it. And you gotta be ready. You gotta I'm be with ready it. For all things. I'm with it. I'm. I'm. I think. I, I think I can send, lock send him the Discord link. So you can <laughs> I know it's some niggas in there. <laughs> that, <laughs> that's funny oh as fuck. Him, <laughs> that's funny as fuck. So. What's one of the craziest experiences you've had in the in the in the strip club? We'll start with you, Devin. You got the most experience. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she, she, she was laughing sadistically. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, this this, this, this <laughs> night must have been insane. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, like, damn, three years, like the craziest. Jay. <sighs> I would say, okay, I would honestly say, I was, <laughs> you know, she knows what I'm about to say. You know exactly what I'm about to say. But basically, I was literally doing a fucking double dance with this one girl. Yes, bitch, I'm going to say this story because he said the craziest thing. And this is the craziest thing because why would you do that? Okay. So I'm doing a fucking double dance with this girl and this fucking bitch goes down and starts sucking this nigga's dick while we're just like, while I'm just here and he's just sitting there like this and I'm just like (laughs) standing there now like, so what am I supposed to do now? Sucking him through the khakis. Uh, Mind your business? I don't know. I mean, I don't know. (laughs) Keep dancing? (laughs) I'll be like, you you joining in? (laughs) If not, move. (laughs) (laughs) I gotta be honest. Can I get a heads up? I gotta be honest. Nah, y'all she, couldn't do that on a, y'all all she time. That money. No. <laughs> that's one thing. Why have her come back there if, if that's real? Yeah, like I right, respect right, that. Right. I respect do your that. Thing. Especially without a heads up. Like hey, that's some buzz. crazy shit. I, I like yo, look, I'm finna pay her. You trying to get paid too? Mm. None of that. And this is the thing. It was her idea. <laughs> Who the other chick? Yes. Oh no, nah, that's crazy. That's crazy. It wasn't like. Hey, come dance <laughs> with me. I'm going to get this money for, you know what I'm saying? So we're but sitting there just... with him. She's like, oh, let's go to a dip dance. So he get up, we get up. So now we're back there. and Hey, no. you, you should have kept there. The way that customers will come up to you and the things that they say are just really like, hmm? <laughs> Very much moments like that. Yeah. <laughs> so we had a white guy. We're standing here minding our business, just having a conversation, me and Devin. <laughs> And this white man comes up and he looks like European. You know, there's white, like there's American white, like, you know, I'm a cracker white. Um, he looked very <laughs> European, like, he's from, like, That Czech. was the craziest breakdown of white people I've ever heard. There's, like, they got them looks. They yeah, got a yeah, look. for they sure. Look I them. never thought about it like that, but yeah, yeah, I fuck with that. The little European ones. He looked like that. He was really short. He came up to us. We're just having a conversation amongst ourselves. And you know what he decided to refer to himself as? <laughs> I kind of think of myself to be a white nigger. Oh, whoa. He told you that? Yep, he nah. said that right in front of us. <laughs> ain't no, ain't no I fucking said, way. Yep. I said, Devin, what? What he just said? I said, what she wanted me to repeat it to her. Bitch. I was shocked, girl. It was just like, I- I'm not what? condoning what the fuck <laughs> he just said. He said it again. No, 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 no. He said it again. No. No. I'm like, oh, so since you're just saying things, since you're just saying things that you want to say, you got some money for that? He's like, oh, um, he why he go in his pocket? <laughs> and why he's like, 
I don't have no money. I can't afford. <laughs> uh, stop, stop saying nigga then. Yeah. You had to charge him $10 per nigga. And why he look embarrassed? Why he looking like he don't want to say it? And I, I'm just like, I am not pleased with him. And as soon as like, I'm getting his ass and she's, we're, we're both laughing, but it's still kind of like, what did you just say? Like, oh my God, like you think that's okay. And as soon as that happens, a black girl comes by and she's like, ah, I'm sorry, Izzy. I got to take him. I got to take him. I'm sorry. Cool. Gets right underneath yeah. his arm and just scoops him. I'm like, please take him. Please take him. Thank you. What, <laughs> Thank what they you. Call yeah, take him. A bad please. witch. <laughs> One more time. One more time. Bad witch. Yeah, that's Thank exactly. You. Enjoy yeah. that. Indeed. Enjoy that. And should I elaborate on the, the, the next part of that? Or should I let you elaborate on the next part of that? Go ahead. So after maybe like, what, five minutes, maybe she got a nice little taste. Hmm? Yeah. Uh-huh. And she came back. Ooh, girl. Oh, girl. Oh. Go ahead. <laughs> no, I, I think you should. I think you should. It would be much better if you did. No, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so she comes over and she's just like, oh, um, does he ever like talking to Devin? Does he ever like ask you for anything extra? Like sex, obviously. Yeah. Like, yeah, whatever. Nah, nah, nah. Mind you, Devin had known the man. She's known this customer. So yeah. she, I don't even know why he was even acting like that. I'm not going to lie to you. I have no idea why he was even like acting like that. I right. can't even tell you. But he was just tweaking. Maybe drugs. I don't know. You know, type of people that come in there. <laughs> but anyways, like she's asking her, does she know anything about him doing like extras? And she's just like, girl, like that's my customer. You talk to me about my, my customer. He's asking you that for a reason. I don't right, know why right, he's asking right, you that. Right. But um, he don't ask me that. Like, we, we, yeah. So it was just really funny. Like, you did all that to take this little racist man over there and look what he's trying to get. Right, he's trying to get right. that coach, coach. Exactly. Thank you. But it was just funny. Like, mm. but bro, he ain't got no money. <laughs> oh, he got money for something. <laughs> he got money for the right things. That's great. Are you going to put on layaway? Why he reached in his pocket? He literally reached in the pocket and then said, I do not have no money. <laughs> Nigga, open he had face. the money. He just didn't want to give it to you. He had the money for the pussies. Yeah, that's, that's what he crazy. was looking for. Nah, that's crazy. Mm-hmm. I do not have the money. I'm gonna have to use that one day. I'm gonna be in the store <laughs> and reach be like, in the pocket. <clears throat> I do not have. <laughs> yeah. Nigga, open his wallet. A moth come out. <laughs> I, ain't got yes. I do not. I'm gonna just use it <laughs> just, gonna, to, gonna, just to gonna, get the reaction. Yo, like, the I just, too? Bruh, I have to. I do not have the money. I'm not gonna the say line. a word to anyone so they can't tell if it's fake or not. You know what I'm saying? But Damn. I do not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go crazy with it. Yeah. That's crazy. How often do dudes come in there like asking for like sex and whatnot? Every day. Really, every day. Mm-hmm. that makes sense. Every day, that makes sense. Even if they see you every day, every breathing day, they think they they gonna ask. They, 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 they still ask. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. I, 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 I kid you guys not. This every, Thursday is gonna be the day. I, every fucking day. What do you think? Is, is you it, gonna break one day? It's, yep, it's gonna, gonna change. Crack. You're gonna crack. I'm gonna get you. So I'm gonna ask you a million times. People. Can I fuck? Can I fuck? Can nah, I fuck? Can I fuck you? Can I fuck? Can yeah. I fuck? It's to the point. Right, you maybe tomorrow. Can I fuck? <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. Can I fuck? Can I fuck? That's crazy. Nah. Can I fuck? You Damn, still don't so, want to? You Damn. sure? <laughs> you, po- you positive? <laughs> All right. And tomorrow do, same time. And they doing everybody like that in the night. Yes. Not like everybody. Who they? But who they? Who they? Fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah, pull yeah, up. They yeah, like yeah. it's opposite day. Do you want to fuck? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> opposite day just ended. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever gotten your junk your junk mm. stuck in anything? Like anything <laughs> stuck stuck in your junk? Bruh, I remember one time it was the fifth <laughs> it was the fifth grade. And it was crazy because I had just seen um, <laughs> You couldn't wait to tell this story. I had just nah, I just remember this shit off the it's just crazy. It's a traumatic experience. <laughs> I had just seen me, myself, and Irene. And you remember when that when he, oh, when boy, he zipped yeah. this shit up? That's Y'all seen that? Me, myself, and Irene? I'm old, mm-hmm. so it's a uh, Ben Stiller movie. It's Ben Stiller, right? Oh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Ben Stiller. You don't like Ben Stiller? No, I don't know who that is. I'm oh, you said, oh, hell no. Nah. Oh, okay. He, he a goat. But uh, it's a scene where he zip his, his uh, balls up, and it's like, he got to go to the emergency room. So I just seen that shit. And I was like, this is stupid. This will never happen. So I'm in the fifth grade, bro. I remember <laughs> I had on like, some Jinko jeans or some shit like that. Bro, I zipped my shit up, bro. Mm. Nigga. I was in so much pain. I think I hit the knees 
And it was in the bathroom, so you got. I ain't gonna say it. the floor probably was pissy. Some fifth graders peeing, so they, yeah. they, they, they missing the toilet. Yeah, and nigga, I, I ain't gonna yeah. fuck, bro. I hit the floor, bro. Yeah. That shit. That was pain crazy. different. That nigga, pain different. Nigga, I was in pain for like three days. I ain't want to tell my mama. I was like, "Mama, my balls hurt." Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, nigga, I just I waited till everybody went to sleep and just got an ice pack every night. I was like, "Nah, I was out for the count, bro." Oh, and that big guy, that big guy ca- caught in the zipper. Damn, that's that's insane. That shit. And I listen as I was not free balling. Also, they probably like, how that happened. Yeah. I wasn't free balling, bro. Mm-hmm. Shit, just what you, you come on, bro. I, balls to jeans. <laughs> balls to jeans. Yeah. It just it nigga shit. had this shit out the low. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what happened. <laughs> you was wild. You know, niggas wasn't wearing balls. <laughs> yeah. You know niggas wasn't wearing boxer briefs. Niggas was just wearing the boxers. <laughs> I was wearing box. You know boxers got the slit on them, and my little nuts came out the little, and they got zipped up, bro. I was like, damn, bro. I can't. No. I was, I was, I was, I was, I was moving too fast. That's what I was gonna say. Your ass was being quick. Yeah, I was moving too fast, bro. That's a, all right. So. I ain't never got my junk stuck in nothing. Thank God. It can still happen. <laughs> hey, bro, chill out, bro. Don't <laughs> you better knock out one. <laughs> Straight up. I, don't ever wish that on me, man. Hey, y'all ask why I don't wear jeans no more. I wear That's sweat. Crazy. Yeah, I'm about to throw traumatized. mine away. Shit. Yeah, I don't wear jeans no more, bro. You're These traumatized. halfway gone. Let me. <laughs> um, I was at a party once, as, as probably in my mid teens. I used to go to them teen parties. Oh. And, uh, yeah. Freaky ass nigga. Hey, I yeah, was like, God, the ex no, 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 no. See, 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 hold on, hold on. Hey, you gotta remix that shit for me. You know what I'm saying? Freaky ass nigga. Parties. I was outside. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Was Poon Pot at them parties? No, 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 no. He was not. <laughs> Poon Pot was a grown ass man at that point. That sounds like a strange. That wine and grass. Eighteen type shit. <laughs> Where they used to be. The Project X parties and shit, right? For either of you, this is not to say a long term, but like a. Hey, I'm going to be doing this X amount of ter- time kind of thing. You know, do you set those kind of limits for yourself? Do you have that in mind or is it just a until I do you ever even think about, you know, the end date? OK, so like for me, <laughs> I always used to say, like when I first started dancing, like I'm not going to dance for a long time. I'm not going to dance for a long time, but I've been dancing for like three fucking years. And for me, it feels like forever. And I always say now, like, I don't want to dance forever. Like, this is definitely not like a long term thing. It's kind of to get me to where I need to be. But at the same time, there's always that option and flexibility of I can always go anywhere and make money. So it's always like, how can I stop? Yeah. Should I respect it? Yeah, I respect that. That makes perfect sense. 100%. I think, like, same thing, like, I don't want to do it forever because, like, I don't know, when you said that, I started thinking about, like, no shade, but some of the women that I have worked with that are, like, clearly in their 40s, like, like, literally today I went to work and they're, like, older and it's just, like, I don't want to be like that. And it's just, like, in the same sense, there is respect to it. It's just, like, you ain't here and you, like, fuck it. Like, she's still making money. Like, that's, that's like, that's the tea. She's still making money in here. So it's just, like, you you can only respect that, like, at her age. And it's just, like, I tell everybody all the time, like, a lot, body doesn't matter. Like, they still be be in here making money. Mm -hmm. Um, Having regulars that come and see them and will not talk to me type shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, like, it is what it is. But um, in the same sense, that that's just me and my preference for myself. You know, everybody can have their own opinion, but for me and my preference for myself, I don't want to be doing this forever. Um, I want to have a like limit on it, but like the money is really good. Um, I think I started at like a really bad time though, where the money wasn't as good as it was. So I think that kind of influences how I feel a, b- a little bit too. Yeah, let me add that. <laughs> but um, I started like you know a year ago, and like since it's like okay, we're like little October, like it's been. Almost, yeah. it's about to be two years. Shit, yeah. like you know, what I'm saying, I've been saying it's a year for damn near. <laughs> Whoa! So, um, it's just like, yeah, it's coming up, and like, damn, I want to be doing something else. So, it's just I like, I want to get to where I have stacks of money. So that's where I'm at. Like, I'm still gonna be dancing. I'm like, you know, 
one of my family members, my sister knows I'm dancing, so she's like, what are you going to do? Are you doing this? Are you doing that? And I'm just like, I just want to get to a point where I'm comfortable, not where everybody feels like they're comfortable for me to stop. Right. And so when I get my money where it needs to be and I'm comfortable, like, yes, I'm going to get like, you know, I'm going to go to school and like, you know, and start hitting those things as well. Right. Honestly, I'm going to start going to school anyways, but I just want to get my money right. Like, everybody knows that money is very necessary to be Indeed. comfortable and mentally, like, comfortable as well. So that's how I feel about it, really. And I feel like for a lot of us, like, when you get into that habit of not being told, like, you got to be at a certain place at a certain time, you got to do this, you got to do that, and you're your self-contractor, like, you're an entrepreneur, yes. you can move around, you can do whatever the fuck you want to do. Like, I've literally traveled everywhere, basically, like... Mm -hmm. So I feel like with that freedom, it's kind of hard for us to give that up and go to a regular nine to five because yeah. like we can create a schedule. You just got to like be consistent with yourself. So it mm -hmm. it just varies. <laughs> what y'all say? Uh, I say he a regular. Oh, okay. he seek almighty. Bro, stop saying that name. <laughs> that name forbidden on here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> From this day forth. But we had a gentleman, 47 years old. He ain't had coochie in 17 years. Oh. Ain't seen the likes of a pussy. 17 okay. years. <laughs> How old is he? 47. Okay. And a half. What's, he ain't tell a... you that. <laughs> 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 he said his birthday next month, so like three, four. Oh, yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> I thought he said that. I was going to say he he's a child. 47.75. So, like, what's going on? Like, his wife died or something? Like, mm -hmm. what's the reason? Does he have a reason? He. he I'm uh, celibate. Like, he's, no, okay. he, nah, he's just in a. He's not the most attractive. Mm. He's homeless, also. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Ding, ding, ding. Maybe. Maybe that. <laughs> But he just Jesus. he just got homeless. Like he knew homeless. Yeah. <laughs> like he ain't been homeless the whole seventeen years. The stank fresh on him. You know what I mean? <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He said, Let me see if I can pull up. Uh, man, don't pull I mean, man up. I mean, ugly niggas get pussy. Go ahead and pull him up, bro. Go ahead and pull him up, bro. Ugly niggas get pussy all the time. That's what uh, we tell him. Uh, uh, That's what I'm told him. I'm I like, agree. I, I mean, he ugly, ugly. When you pull bro up, I seen worse niggas get some. Okay. That's real. Like he I'm going to pull up the, his best one. Okay. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. You ready, Debbie? <laughs> yeah. This is... Child, he's not that bad. Worst looking niggas get... Right. Yeah, worst yeah, looking like niggas. He just has a bad mouth. And that just doesn't work with a lot of people. Right, right, mm -hmm. right, right. And that's okay. I told him, hey, clean yourself up. Present yourself differently, mm -hmm. and you can get you some coochie. He said, "Nah, man, if I gotta do all of that, it ain't worth it." I think it was the haircut for me. It looked just Put yeah, his up. hair was a mess. It was the hair, the the teeth. Yes, okay, pull up but... the picture, of bro, with the hat on. Yeah, now <laughs> with hat the on. hat. See, I showed you the one with a woman. He said, "As serious, he's like." Well, yeah, that's not that's all you gotta say though. That's no, so funny to me. It's not gonna change it. No. <laughs> so, we already that, seen it. We that, already that, seen that, it. That, definitely. That, we already seen like, it. Okay. It got, yeah, bro. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Okay, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Five, exactly. Five, exactly. Five, exactly. Five, exactly. Five, exactly. Five, exactly. Eating the niggas up. I say, yo. Cozy, cozy. Clean yourself up. Present yourself properly. That's a crazy person. Working man. He's a working man. He looks like he just got He's off, not a working work. man. He's a homeless <laughs> man. He's a homeless man, but, but still. He's, <laughs> hey, yeah, no, we're you, trying to give him You too can get some sex. I'm trying he's to give my brother. He's unworking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's also a rapper. <laughs> no. Okay, okay. And he needs to his dreams. clean himself up, cut the rapper act, get a job, <laughs> and then like he said, you rap better than Jay Z. Okay, but Jay Z get coochie every night. You know? <laughs> so, I don't know. You're not better than Jay Z. See, <laughs> you're watching. <laughs> Actually, he's not watching because it's on sure. Patreon. <laughs> <Yeah. Anyway. laughs> like I say, we gave him the same advice. He told us. Fuck he, he ain't listen. Yeah. But anyway, what's your worst uh or not crazy your craziest 
experience in the strip club? Mm. A year and a half in, I feel like you still fresh. Mm-hmm. You might not have seen it all. That's what I'm saying. I feel like <laughs> some of the things like I wasn't witness to, but some of the things like, oh, oh. Okay, I just think it's like the audacity sometimes of like when you're in the strip club working and you're like not white or Spanish. Mm, mm. And so the way that customers, <laughs> oh Lord, 